Hi everyone, Rad Drew here. I have a little app called Video to Photo that I wanted to share with you. Um, I've used it quite a bit in the last uh, couple months. It's a, a, an app that lets us use um, take our videos that we've made and extract individual frames from the video and process them as if they were a photo. Um, I found it really useful when I'm photographing things with motion like dance or sports. Um, it lets you kind of go through all of the the frames and pick out the the one that that you want. Unfortunately, I don't. Uh, this does not work on the Android, and I've yet to find a video to photo type uh, app that works on the Android. So, if anyone out there is aware of one, I'd be really eager to know what it is. Before you um, before you start with this, the first thing you want to do is go out to your settings on your on your phone. I'm going to tap on the settings icon, and you want to scroll down in here until you come to camera. I'm going to tap on the camera area here, and you see record video. I want to select that and I, I recommend choosing 4K at 30 frames per second. It gives you the best balance between quality and file size that you're going to find and um, it works really well. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. Then the next thing that you would do here would be to um, record your video. So you use your regular uh, video recorder in your native camera or whatever. If you have another video app that you use, that's fine. You're going to go ahead and record your video just like you always would. And then once you have that video recorded, you can go ahead and open up the video to photo app. So I'm going to go down here in the search cell and I'm going to type in video and there it is. It pops up. It's the first one, the gray icon, gray and white. I'm going to tap on that and that's what it looks like. Um, it's by Paco Labs and it brings up uh, opens up right into your um, all your videos in your video library. So I'm going to go down here and grab one um, that I shot this a couple, let's see, I guess it was last month uh, in Cuba. These are uh, two contemporary dancers that we had um, as models for our group. And I shot big camera images with with, uh, with, with this uh, setting as well as um, iPhone still images and I also shot a lot of video. So what we had the dancers do, um, they just danced for us. They had a choreographed um, uh, dance that they had created and they just danced it and we photographed while they moved. And like I said, I used all those other cameras, but I also did this video. Once you get the video open in here, you can scroll through and look at each individual frame. And they've made it easy. There are lots of different ways that you can look at, at the individual frames. You can do what I'm doing now and just scroll through. But you can also, up in the upper right, there's a little icon here with some arrows in it. If I tap on that, it, it brings, it blows it up a little bit. But it, you see the giant arrows there on the side of the frame. You can tap on those one by one or, or you know, uh, going forward and look at one by one each of the frames. So it allows you to get the exact um, uh, pose or um, positioning of the uh, flowing garments or whatever that you want the waves whatever you can go through and find exactly the the thing you want uh, I'm going to click the X in the upper right hand corner and get out of that mode My favorite way to look at these is down at the bottom. You see a white slider down there and you can take that slider and You can slide it all the way to the left and it takes you to the very first frame and then you can simply slide across the the uh, continuum there and it's showing you every frame in the image. So you can move along until you find the one. Look at that one right there. That's the one I want. I stop there. I'm going to tap on it. And there's my image. Now I could go ahead and save this to the camera roll. But before I do, I want to crop it. I want to crop it to a, a different, uh, maybe a square. If you look at the upper right hand corner up here, there's a little um, crop icon. I'm going to tap on that. And now I can go in and, and, and crop this image. Now you'll notice it's in the square uh, aspect ratio, but if I go up to the constrain button in the upper right, I have all these different aspect ratios that I can choose from. And I can even do unconstrained, so I can do a free crop if I want. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave it at one to one, a square, and go back and there's my image. And I'm gonna say done. And there it's cropped it and I'm ready to save. So now, um, I'm going to go ahead and tap, save it to the camera roll. And let's just go out and take a look at the image. There it is. And um, I'm going to select it. And then I'm going to use the share icon down at the bottom here. And I'm going to go to my um, 
utility app view exif it's uh, a metadata app that will let me know what size and so on so I'll tap on that and here you can see that this is an 8.4 megabyte file and it's a 21 by 21 pixel dimension um, that's a decent size for an iPhone file so now I could take this image right into Snapseed and and process it I mean you can zoom in on it and look you can see it's a, a nice quality image um, very sharp and clean um, and it's just a great way to um, capture a scene that maybe has motion in it like a, an athletic scene or a dance scene uh, your kids whatever you can go in and just pick out that exact frame that you want um, that's really all there is to it I just wanted to share that with you I've gotten a lot of use out of it and maybe you will too um, if you like it please uh, give me a thumbs up on my youtube channel and uh, and subscribe if you want uh, if you do that you'll get a notification whenever I uh, post a new video and I try and get some out there you know every other week or so um, and um, you might consider going to my website as well I've got some great trips coming up this fall um, we have uh, out of Chicago in August um, uh, Sally Wolf and I are doing a Dahlia workshop in Indiana then we have Cape Cod in October um, Cuba in November I still have two spots open for that and um, a wonderful workshop with Jack Davis uh, in Hawaii on the island of Molokai. So lots going on and um, uh, we'd love to have you visit my site and check things out. Thanks a lot for watching and until next time, keep on creating.